What's going on guys, Sam here. And in today's video, I wanna to talk to you guys about Niagara. Niagara is a free tool that can be used fully inside of Unreal Engine, and it allows you to create advanced particle simulations on a new level in real time. These particle simulations can be anything from your typical uses such as fire, water, steam, dust, and dirt, to more unique uses such as creating swarms of creatures or bugs to populate your world. It's also useful for creating things like crowds. Uh, the new version of Niagara, which comes with Unreal Engine 5, also allows the user to program the plugin manually, meaning that you're no longer limited to what you can do with the simulator. So you're essentially able to write your own VFX, which haven't been done before. Another cool feature is that you can have the particles and simulations in your scene actually interact with your characters and the environment in a realistic way. For example, in this simulation of rats running around that was created by Epic Games for their Valley of the Ancients demo of Unreal Engine 5, they have the particles, which in this case are rats, averaging their position in the world to create flocking behaviors based on the input of the character's position and other objects in the game. What makes Niagara really useful for filmmakers and game creators alike is that it can add a sense of realism and dynamism to your world. Because the real world has haze, fog, steam, and dust moving around all the time, adding some of that motion to your scene can really enhance the visuals of your game or shot, and being able to customize your simulation to fit your exact needs is a game changer, especially when you're able to accomplish it in real time. Another great use for Niagara is water systems, as you can see here. It can actually be used to create a really realistic water simulation. Now, if I were making a film, I wouldn't rely on this heavily as a main water simulation tool. However, it's really good from afar. It's good for simulating things that aren't going to be close up and the main focus of your shot. So if you need to add some particle systems into your shot, Niagara is a great way to do so, all inside of Unreal Engine and all for free. And it's especially powerful in Unreal Engine 5 because because they've updated a lot of the features, made it more customizable, more powerful, and it's also going to interact with Lumen, which is a game changer as well. So it's going to be a big help to a lot of game developers and filmmakers as well. Now, obviously, you're not going to be able to get quite the same results as you would get if you were using something like PMFX or fluid simulators in Blender or Maya or any of those other 3D programs, Houdini, for example. Um, you're not going to get the same kind of quality, but you are going to be able to render in real time, which is a big deal for a lot of game developers, obviously, but also it's very helpful for filmmakers. And also if you're doing any type of virtual production, you're going to be able to add those dynamic elements into your shots while you're shooting uh, and doing in-camera VFX for virtual production. So that's a huge deal. So before we get into the main part of the video, I just want to take a moment to thank today's sponsor, which is wingfox.com. Wingfox is one of the fastest growing platforms for courses focused on art, design, CGI, and animation. And they have tons of courses ranging from programs like Maya, Houdini, the Adobe Suite, and of course, Unreal Engine. These courses are taught by industry professionals who have years of experience working on high-end projects, so you know you're getting the very best information possible. You can also join a workshop and get direct feedback and criticism from real professionals in the industry as well as the WingFox community. I personally have checked out a few of their courses, and if you're serious about getting into animation, CGI, or visual effects, I highly recommend taking a look at their website. Their courses dive deep into the creative process and give you a real insight into what it takes to be a professional in the industry. So if you're interested in what WingFox has to offer, head over to their website, wingfox.com, and use the promo code in the description for a nice discount. All right, guys, so here we are inside of Unreal Engine, and this is just a quick scene that I've created, actually uh, partially for an upcoming course that I'm working on, just to show you guys how to build scenes in Unreal Engine, especially using Quixel Mega Scans and integrating assets like this, which I've created on my own. You know, stay tuned for that, which is coming up here soon. But anyway, just to get into what I want to talk about here, we're going to talk about Niagara, and that's going to be able to add some particle systems for us. So uh, I just want to talk about the basics of it and how it's structured. You know, I'll leave any of the advanced stuff for another tutorial if you guys are interested. So what I'm going to do is go in here and go to Edit and Plugins, and I'm going to, going to search for Niagara. We can have a Cascade to Niagara converter, and that's going to allow us to convert our Cascade particle systems to Ni Niagara systems. That's like if you're updating an old project, we don't really need that for now. Um, and we have our Niagara turned on here and you know we don't really need anything else to be turned on if it's not enabled make sure you enable it and you're probably going to have to restart your engine so just go ahead and do that 
So we're just gonna right click in our content browser and we're gonna go into FX. And then we're gonna look through and we have a lot of different Niagara effects here. So what we can do is we're just gonna go and create a Niagara system. We can you know, make an empty system, copy an existing uh, new system from the selected ed emitters that we already have in our scene. Um, but what I'm gonna do is make a new system from a template and we're just gonna click next. And we have a lot of options. Uh, I'm just gonna show you guys a simple explosion uh, so that we can just easily get started. So we're gonna create that and we'll just call this Niagara tutorial. And what we can do, so there's a few different things uh, that we have here, a few different like classes of things. Uh, so the other thing is an emitter. And if we go in here to Niagara, we can make a Niagara emitter. Click next and we can do, you know, we have a few options here maybe do a fountain okay so how this works is if I take this uh, system and drag it out we can just drag it right into our scene here okay and you see now we already have a nice explosion in our scene however if I drag out the emitter it's not going to let us so uh, we can only drag out Niagara systems into our scene and we can edit our emitters inside of that Niagara system so what I'm going to do is double click this and this is going to bring us inside of our uh, our Niagara system what we have here is a particle simulation and it's very similar to cascade if you guys have used cascade before but it's a little more powerful it has a few more options just going to show you guys the different classes of things that we have inside of here so an emitter is you know a single stage of our system so it's it's basically telling us how our system is going to behave this is an example of, of an emitter right here so we have one emitter here another one here and another one here okay so that's just showing us we have a, a burst we have an upward burst and we have a simple sprite burst. So that's giving us our sparks, it's giving us our clouds, and it's giving us these upward arrows here. Inside of an emitter, we have modules. And this is a module right here. And each module, it has parameters underneath it, okay? So if we click here, we can add a new module to this group. That's how we kind of add parameters and settings to our emitters so that we can modify them, okay? So that's the basics of Niagara. It's a very simple, you know, typical kind of particle system, but it has a lot of options and it's very powerful as you can see. If you guys want a more advanced tutorial on Niagara, then let me know and I will gladly do it. Adding particle, simple particle systems to your scene can really do a lot. Like for example, even if I just go into the starter content and we just grab some particle systems here, we have some nice, uh, you know, like this fire, for example, I'll grab this fire, just kind of put it inside this building. So this is actually a pretty nice little fire effect, even just right out of the box in Unreal. So if I go ahead and bring this back, kind of looks like our building's on fire. So, you know, I can grab this smoke system, kind of bring it out here so it looks like our building is smoking. We can scale it. And as you can see, you know, just adding these basic things to our scene really quickly adds a lot of uh, a lot of interest to our scene. And if you know, we can add um, another another smoke up here. And there we go. So, you know, you can see just adding these really quick particle systems really enhances your scene. And um, as you can see, like they look really good, uh, especially from afar. So, so if you're looking to add something extra to your scene, if you're looking to add that extra bit of realism, just some dynamism to your scene, Niagara is a really great way to do that. As you can see from these examples, you can get some really powerful effects out of it. It's just really going to help bring your scenes to life because in the real world we have motion, we have dust, things floating around in the air, and just adding a little bit of that is going to add a ton of realism to your scene. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. Uh, let me know if you would like a full Niagara tutorial. This was kind of more just a basic uh, walkthrough look into the Niagara system just to introduce you guys and maybe get the ball rolling, introducing some ideas for some new effects for you guys. And make sure you hit the subscribe buttons to stay tuned for any updates on this channel for the upcoming course and everything uh, that I'm working on right now. So thank you for watching and have a good one, guys.